Need to nozzle check. <laughs> Really keen on doing um, a residency here at Studio 12. I had um, a couple of my friends come by over the past couple of weeks to do the one hour residencies, and I just thought, what an amazing way to be able to push myself creatively to come into this space where I never made work before and I could just come in and follow the set of rules and kind of just like push myself to try new things. Um, but yeah, so we've got the setup here, and um, as you can see, I'm in my Lee on C outfit. If you follow me, you can see from my first time here. So this place is really special. I've got the same coat, same scarf, because I really wanted to kind of recreate that connection and that familiarity. And but if I'm honest, the one thing that I do really love about being in this space is kind of the osmosis that happens where in this space and there's so much art that just diffuses into you so I can't wait to jump into it. Hello, my <laughs> name is Elvis Wright and I would like to share a rant. It's a book about as so I actually don't really like as this as one so I'm going to play the next one. one. It's catchy. This, this is the only one I think I, I really like. That you could be so we're going. It's on. Better than you feel today. You say you got a problem. Well, that's no problem. It's super easy enough to feel that way. When you start to get confused because of thoughts in your head, don't feel those feelings. Hold them in instead. Turn it on. Like the light switch, just hard about that. Turn it off! Turn it off! Right <laughs> when I was young, my dad would treat my mom real bad. Every time that you would talk jazz and he'd start a drinking and I'd start a thinking. Hey, I'll save that. Keep my mom yeah, probably. Oh, that's so high. Can yeah. I it's been naked in the sea and then keep trying. Because I didn't keep my hands up. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of different music. <laughs> Beautiful. Come on, Chef 4. I did your way. And then left yeah. on the other video. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry too much about that. I think there's something like really important and this song captures it listening to really strong independent female artists just really it's like injecting something into my veins and just makes me so much more um, creative and 
free to be myself and explore different things. So, New Romantics by Taylor Swift is a song of the session. So much in there. Have you got more paper? Yeah. Do you want to do them? I'm thinking. I'm kind of just in. So, I'm really in this process of kind of just thinking how can I just create as much as I can in kind of the first segment of this residency? Just kind of making, um, I have to follow a set of rules um, which are on the wall. And so I've used the scanner and I'm about to jump into Photoshop and use the laptop. And um, I might test out the receipt printer, but I kind of just want to focus on experimentation because I think that's so, so vital when. No, I'm impressed. <laughs> Can I? No. <laughs> Can I actually? Yeah, go for it. Why um why not masking tape? I was thinking that. I was like, why could I not use masking tape? But I think it it adds too much. And right now I'm I really want my work to speak louder than the design choices and they're too cured. I can't do myself. Then. I think masking tape's great. What's the point of having borders around it if I'm just gonna put masking tape on it? So I kind of want it to be something that can... Do you want to print the nozzle check? Hell yeah. The tactility and the textural elements of the space that I've been given to work in. You can see here, like you can, if you were to touch it as I am now, you would be able to feel the responsive nature of the wall and how it's its a form of communication. It speaks for my work. That's why this isn't central. So I really wanted the hair to be able to speak for itself as well. It's almost as if it were a scan, which are the scans that I've done here. It's kind of like you can touch it, you can kind of see it, but its it's not hair. Who knows if it is real hair? It could be hair from a brush, it could be hair from a head, it could be hair from an animal. Can you only print um, the receipt printer from your phone? Should I airdrop it to your phone? Yeah. What did I do? It's printing. I just love being able to work with alternative forms of printing. I think it's really important that now we're moving into such a digital age that we can kind of take a couple steps back 
and focus on different ways that we can create art that isn't simply just these big printing companies and we can think of how we can do things in a fun, resourceful way that doesn't require much. We have it. I will clean your scanner, don't worry. <laughs> I'm really not being happy. Oh, I could do with a bit of throw back to Shabbos. Yeah. Do you want me to move? <laughs> Shall I put the flash on? It's still printing at green. Oh, I didn't put this one in black and white. Can I print it again or is that a waste? No. Unlock your phone. Do I have to wait for each one to print? Mm. So he just didn't rip it? Yeah. <laughs> I love how you're focused on the music. <laughs> this is going to be cat. <laughs> oh, I didn't rip it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Side eye. <laughs> Ooh. 
Oh, it's the end of the paper. Hold on. Let's pause. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. Reload. And... You press stop. Yep. Um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I need something. <laughs> Can I open it? <laughs> yeah, of course. Wait. Um, we... yeah, we do it. Didn't it? <laughs> Let me actually look at what I made. <laughs> so first, first of all, could you explain what you've made here today? So when first entering the space, I really wanted to make sure that I was going to be exploring lots of different processes because of the different machinery and printing methods and what came with that was the importance of it being something that was a tactile piece overall. So I was thinking a lot about texture and the realness of hair through these methods. So using black and white, I think really strips it down to what it really is and just kind of really making it so that you can look at the work and you can feel the work with color. There's, there's too much going on. Like, when you look at my piece, it's, it's got movement, it's got momentum, it's dynamic. It's something to be, to be felt not only emotionally, but also really to physically get involved. Honestly, fantastic. If I had more than one hour, I would win the Turner Prize. Am I supposed to be like up myself or am I supposed to just use big words? My practice. I don't think I have a real methodology. I'm very much um, a go with the flow and see kind of what comes. And um, I think it's a proposal to question. It's a proposal to think about actions and kind of I think that will translate into my work at a later stage I don't know how to answer that. I think within this piece but also like my practice in general I've really been over the evolution of my degree my undergraduate really considering how performance kind of multimedia kind of thinking of I'm basically a multimedia artist I, I'm not a photographer in any way so now you've completed your residency here at Studio 12 um, what's next? I think honestly what's next for me is taking a step back I mean it's such an achievement and I'm so proud of my time that I've spent here and being in Leon C that now it's time to go home, it's time to reflect. I think I'm also going to spend some time archiving what I've made because it's essential to archive your work. I mean, to have 
things where you can look back to and reflect on later on in time make sure that we're not rushing into anything too soon and then i'm thinking of um hosting a hair cutting workshop where um so firstly i'm actually going to be going back to paris for a few months where i'm going to be doing a hairdressing course and we're going to learn how to cut hair how to do different sorts of fades how to do buzz cuts how to do pixie cuts to kind of put more women in this position of feeling comfortable in doing those sorts of hairstyles. And then I'm going to be doing um, a fine art screen printing workshop down the line. I mean, maybe even in two or three years, but where we're going to be then using hair um, and crushing it into pigment to create paint to then create portraits. Um, as I said, I'm not a photographer, I don't identify with that. Focusing on what's being done, then going home, archiving, then trip to Paris, hairdressing course, and then moving into screen printing with using hair as ink to make portraits and kind of come full circle within the next decade with this piece, even though it really is like a never ending practice. I mean, nothing's ever finished and I don't think that it's fair to really put a stop to anything because who knows when you're going to get inspired next, who knows who's going to come in and could bring all this talent to you. I mean, if I hadn't done this residency here, who knows if I would have been making this short film or if I had been contacted by my friend in Paris to do this hairdressing course or to think even consider screen printing if it hadn't been for one of my colleagues at work. So honestly, there's so many opportunities and it's all about staying open to possibility because when you limit yourself, you're really, really putting yourself at a disadvantage and I don't like that.